Okay, now we know y is equal to ln x plus z over x is the general solution to the differential equation x squared times y prime plus x times y is equal to 1. And now we would like to find a particular solution, a specific solution that will satisfy this initial condition as well. However, we know the solution has to be in this form already. And the reason that we say this is general because we just don't know what the c4u is. And now with this initial condition, and by the way, when they write down y of 1 is equal to 2, we are saying that y is a function of x. So right here, it means that when x is equal to 1, the y value will be 2. And then all I need to do right now is, I know this x and y value, as soon as I plug in x and y value being 1 and 2 into this equation, you see? And remember, the solution to a differential equation is a function, more like an equation. So, to solve this, all I need to do is just plug in 1 and 2 into x and y, and then solve for c. That's it. Let's do it. Plug in 2 for y, we get um, 2, and that's equal to ln of 1 plus c. I don't know what the c value is yet, and then on the bottom we have the 1. And ln of 1 is just 0, and then all in all we have 2 is equal to c over 1, which is c, so we have c is equal to 2. And now what? <laughs> we just need to repeat this down. The solution that we're looking for that satisfies this differential equation and also satisfies this initial condition is y equals to ln x, and put close parentheses to emphasize it's just close, right? Plus the c value, now we know it's specifically equal to 2 over dx. And this right here is the answer.